apart from his offshore winds here, which seem very, very calm on the beach, but they can blow dinghies straight out to sea, and people get in trouble very quickly like that. Every year we know we're going to get lots and lots of dinghies uh, blown off the beach. As soon as we get a, a southwesterly wind, a nice clear sunny day, you may as well not bother going home, you may as well stay in the station, you know. The thing is, they're so light, once the wind gets hold of them, they're, they're off and there's, there's, no, there's no stop in them. You know, they can paddle as hard as they want, but they'll, they'll be off. We've got a powered engine on the back of this, and for us to actually catch up with the wind blowing small children in a raft, it, it's, it's quite hard to catch up with them. That's where the trouble starts. The biggest danger we've found is that uh, if once the inflatable does start blowing offshore and the parents realise that uh, the children are in trouble, that they will tend to go into the sea after them, which is actually the wrong thing to do. got a mobile phone or somebody's got a mobile phone just get on the phone straight away and dial 999 and then the Coast Guard will alert us and then we'll be out there within a matter of minutes. If they saved their energy and ran to the phone box and dialed 999 you know we're only five minutes away from the beach and if the kids stay in the dinghy we'll get them. The sea is always cold none of the lifeboat crews ever go afloat without the proper gear on and that's all year round. Yes we have the casualty visual ETA 30 seconds of it. Even in the summer fully clothed with one of those suits on top I have to jump in the water and I can get cold within 10 minutes. Now if you imagine in the summer when you've just got a swimming costume on or a bathing costume and you're in the water and all of a sudden you realize you're in, in a bad situation it, it just takes seconds. Okay. Kids tend to be very scared. We get to them fairly quickly from here. The typical beaches are only five, ten minutes away by sea for us, so we get to them quite quickly. But they do tend to be pretty scared, sometimes a bit cold. Cold? Yeah. yeah what's your name? Lucy. We need to um, get them into the boat, reassure them, get them you know, wrapped up in, in a blanket or whatever, get them ashore to hopefully a, a waiting ambulance. One casualty now safe on board. Could we have an ambulance on the beach, please? We work with the local Coast Guard teams. They're usually waiting on the beach for us, so they'll have the heater going in their Land Rover and pop them in the Land Rover until the ambulance turns up. I know it's very difficult sometimes when you're on holiday, you're on holiday, you're on the beach, you're having fun, but really you need to keep an eye on your kids um, if they're playing in inflatables. You really need to be watching them the whole time. You can have great fun in the sea, but the sea is the boss at the end of the day.